astonishing find. Geologists find a lost fragment of an ancient continent and it's filled with diamonds. It formed part of Earth's continental crust 2.7 billion years ago. And uh, it's in Canada's North Atlantic. And uh, we'll show here the area of the picture that they're showing us here, Baffin Island. It's just north of uh, Hudson Bay, Labrador, Quebec area, flanking Greenland, as we see. That's the area that they're talking about. As we know, billions of years ago, we had a very huge supervolcanic eruption here around the area of Montreal in Quebec, basically on the uh, eastern seaboard, seven magnitude VEI, one of the biggest supervolcanic eruptions. And uh, scientists have found this diamond-filled hunk of 2.7 billion year old North Atlantic craton. The NAC forms, the North Atlantic craton forms part of the Earth's ancient crust, and it's now deep underground. The sample, at a depth of more than 100 miles, helps reconstruct Earth's past geology. Jonathan Chadwick on Mail Online says, This is the diamond-encrusted rock. Samples have been found in Canada, the Canadian island, filling a piece of this puzzle. They've reconstructed the ancient part of Earth's continental crust, the NAC, found by geologists who were sifting through diamond exploration samples from the southern Baffin Island in Canada. NAC is an ancient part of Earth's continental crust. It reaches the top of the northern hemisphere from Scotland to the Canadian region of Labrador, deep underground, 100 miles down. They found it. That's the Earth's crust. And under that is, uh, we're starting lithosphere, and under that we have the mantle. Researchers believe NAC is up to 2.7 billion years old before its continental plate broke up about 150 million years ago. The evidence of the ancient crust, which is previously found in Scotland, Greenland, and Labrador, the whole area up there, is much sought after. This new sample of kimberlite, a type of igneous rock, showed unmistakable properties similar to those portions of NAC. Now, this may... Um, remember we talked about kimberlite when we talked about the uh, Kansas booms and strange sounds and the houses shaking from their foundations, uh, the supersonic booms, because kimberlite volcanoes, have uh, they release gas. They release volcanic gases, and it's, they release them very explosively. And uh, we found that uh, Kansas, for example, has 15 volcanoes, three towards the west, uh, three towards the east, and another nine uh, in, inwards towards the central part of Kansas. Fifteen volcanoes. And the ones on, definitely the ones on the west, are all diamond spewing kimberlite volcanoes. And that's just an example of uh, Kansas. And we know that that area has a mantle plume still underneath, which is full of magma. And uh, that's why it goes all the way from the Great Lakes all the way down to Texas. The, it's like a horseshoe-shaped mantle plume. And the east part goes into the New Madrid seismic zone area. And uh, that mantle plume has magma underneath, but the geologists don't know where that magma is coming from. But it's there. So these are the similar type of kimberlite volcanoes we have here in Baffin Island, Greenland, Scotland. So here we go. Uh, this is it right here. Baffin Island, Greenland, Iceland, south of Iceland, Scotland. Uh, so that's... A lot of surprises coming to us uh, concerning the geological findings. The rocks from the North Atlantic Craton, the ancient part of the Earth's continental crust. It's now found deep underground, stretching from the southern tip of Baffin Island, as we see here, Labrador, Quebec, and to the very north of Scotland. So the fragment adds about 10% to the known expanse of the... Uh, NAC also helping reconstruct shapes, the mysterious shapes of Earth's ancient continental crust. The um, University of British Columbia geologist Maya Kopilova said, 
the mineral composition of other portions of the North Atlantic craton is so unique that there is, is no mistaking it. She said it's easy to tie the pieces together, adjacent ancient cratons in northern Canada, northern Quebec, northern Ontario, and Nunavut have completely different mineralogies. And finding these lost pieces is like finding a missing piece of the puzzle. And NAC was present as a single continent before it split into many fragments by emerging seas and oceans. This is what Professor Kopilova said. The same process is now splitting the Arabian Peninsula from East Africa. Now, kimberlite rock samples. We know from kimberlite from the volcanic kimberlite in Kansas. Kimberlite rock samples, which are not just located in Canada, they're also described as the mainstay of diamond exploration. They were formed millions of years ago at depths 90 to 640 miles down. That's 150 to 400 kilometers down. They're igneous rocks. They were brought to the surface by geological chemical forces, sometimes with diamonds embedded in them. Obviously, geological force we're talking about. Diamond eruption. Uh, the volcanoes are very explosive. Kimberlite volcanoes are very explosive from what we learned from the Kansas volcanoes we were talking about. And uh, they that's why they have to release gas. That's, that could be a very uh, valid explanation of why people in Kansas, Oklahoma, and those areas there, are, are Nebraska, are um, shake are feeling the shaking from their uh, from their foundations of their homes, and also hearing these sonic booms. They could be the gas releasing. So now these new def diamondiferous diamond bearing fragments on Baffin's Island, Chidliak Kimberlite Province, the Chidliak Mining Project, approximately 120 kilometers. Northeast of Iqalit, the capital of Nunavut, Nunavut territory, is now owned by diamond retail giant De Beers. Professor Kopilova said, for researchers, kimberlites are subterranean rockets, rockets that pick up passengers on their way to the surface. Okay, rockets, we're talking about explosive. That, you know, that's what she's trying to say. The passengers here are solid chunks of wall rocks that carry a wealth of details on conditions far beneath the surface of our planet over time. And it's an igneous rock containing diamonds, as well as being valuable to diamond retailers. Kimberlock rock samples can help reconstruct, of course, what our ancient Earth was like. Previous reconstructions of the size of location of Earth's plates were based on shallow rock samples. Uh, from about half a mile to six miles down. But with these samples, she said, we're able to reconstruct shapes of ancient continents based deep on deeper mantle rocks. And now we can understand and map out not only the uppermost skinny layer of the Earth, the crust that we make up, 1% of the planet's volume, but our knowledge is literally symbolically deeper. The samples were provided by Peregrine Diamonds, it's a Canadian-based mineral exploration company which was acquired by De Beers recently in 2018. Professor Kopilova said these samples are now loaned out to the University of British Columbia by the company for scientific and research purposes. And in turn, University of British Columbia Research provides the company with information about the deep diamondiferous mantle that is central to mapping the part of the craton with the higher changes to support successful diming mining. So the findings have been detailed in the Journal of Petrology, and uh, I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. 
more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.